Another useful way to use the path exploration report in GA4 is to actually do a reverse path exploration where you start from the ending point instead of starting from the first step. So by default, when you get in here, if you switch this to page path, this will show you where people enter the website. And then you can click to see then basically where they go next and how they navigate the website. But if you click start over in the upper right, you can actually start with the ending point. So what's really powerful about this is you can use a conversion as the ending point and then see the steps somebody took right before converting. So what we do here is we add event name as the ending point. And then you'll see all your events. And we're just going to click on one that we know is a conversion. So we have a thank you page for this form. So we're going to start with that one. And you'll see it starts on the right here. It starts with the ending point. Uh, then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to switch this over to page path. And now we can see uh, the thank you page here. So if we click on this, we'll see the step right before it, which was the contact us page. Uh, then one more step here will actually show us the pages somebody was on before going to contact us and then submitting the form and hitting the thank you page. So we can see the home page, uh, some of these individual community pages, a meet the team page. Uh, if there's another point before this, you could actually click on this here. And in this case, we could actually see uh, there was additional pages somebody was on, then they went to this page, and then they kind of flowed through the uh, conversion process. So uh, this is a really good way to analyze um, what people are looking at right before converting.